Okay. So, <clears throat> it's September 14th, 2018, uh, at 7.06 p.m. And I just wanted to make a very short video. I don't think this is going to be long, but we all know me. Um, about the inclusivity that's beginning to happen of transgender actors um, uh, in um, acting spaces, specifically in New York. Um, I'm talking about bathrooms specifically. Um, so I'm starting to go to cool places to audition. Um, like really big casting agencies and stuff and one specifically today like arguably like the biggest casting agency um, had I'm not just talking like gender neutral like like male and female picture bathroom signs it said like gender inclusive bathroom like in big letters, like male, female. Honestly, I didn't get a good look because I was like in shock that I was even in the building because like I've spent the whole like 12 years of my of my life being an actor, like fantasizing about even like, like being able to be in this building and audition for this company. Um, and I, did, I just didn't really look at the wall. Uh, at the door, but this is not the first place that I have seen um, that has gender neutral and inclusive bathrooms. And I'm just like really surprised and shocked that like Hollywood, I think I'm realizing that it's mostly Hollywood is in great disarray when it comes to like trans roles because like I'm mostly involved in like the theater company and the theater roles that I'm seeing are for like non-binary gender queer people and even like like non-binary people of color I mean yes I'm seeing like casting notices for that for like motion pictures as well but like I'm just like really surprised that these big ass agencies are having like bathrooms for trans people. Where the fuck was I? I was at Lincoln Center. Literally Lincoln fucking Center had gender neutral inclusive bathrooms for all. I was like, are you kidding? That was, I remember I was like, that's crazy. Um, so I think that's really exciting. Um, yeah, I don't know. So it's like Hollywood is, you know, having its issues, understatement, but maybe the theater company is being, a theater world is being a little more like progressive Except I can think of one instance in particular that like literally affected me and I have a YouTube video about it um, where something I auditioned for in a theater company that I'm like affiliated with where they like were looking for a trans masculine actor of color and they went with like a cisgender person um, that like wasn't cool. But I'm just saying I think it's really interesting that like it seems like things are starting to change that I'm seeing like these big network TV shows and movies and studios and stuff are starting to look for trans people. Now the question is, is that we have to like the bridge that we have to hop over now is actually start casting trans people in these roles that they are being written for. And then also on top of that is not tell the same stories in which trans people are victims or prostitutes or whatever the fuck or just have their storylines be about them being trans because we 
are human beings and we deserve to be, um, um, you know, 3D people besides our gender identities. But I think bathrooms are a pretty good fucking step. And that was really exciting to me today to be in this like dream boat of a place and be like, oh my God. Cause it was literally written as, I wish I would have taken a picture. It was written as like gender inclusive. So I was like, hallelujah, bitch. Hallelujah.